Matador Hoops looking to build off dominant seasons. Welcome back, everyone. Both Arizona Western basketball teams open their seasons tonight at home. The men following a year in which they went 26-5 and with an appearance in the Region 1 final, while the women went 30-3 and en route to a national tournament appearance. The house serving as the starting setting tonight for what both teams are hoping will be even better runs this year. We start with the men's game, which tipped off first. The Matadors feeling good ahead of their opener as they take on the Palo Verde Pirates. Matadors getting it done right from tip off as they win the tip. Ball goes to Isaiah Amado, who quickly gets it to Marco Milojevic, who slams it home. Marco getting the crowd hyped after that. Mats go up 2 0. Just moments later, here's Amato getting into the passing lane for the steal, which leads to the transition bucket. Amato with a score and an assist already. It's now 4-0 A-Dub. Score now 6-5, Mats. Yaxel Lendenborg finds Malachi Harris in the paint, and he'll use every inch of a 6-6 frame to lay in this one. Light work for Harris. Now 8-5, Matadors. Game tied at 8 here. Lendenborg finds Amato, who's in three-point land. That's money. Amato with the three-pointer to make it 11-8 to regain the lead for the Matadors. We're tied again here at 13 apiece. There's Amato looking like a quarterback as he finds Evan Butts down the court, who has to work for this shot, but eventually he fires it, and it's good. Butts with a nice bucket to give AWC the lead. A close game at first, but eventually the Matadors go on to roll in this one. AWC men open their season with a W as they beat Palo Verde 116-61. Now to the women's game, head coach Patrick Cunningham giving his team some fist bumps ahead of this one. Just like the men, the Lady Mats taking on the Palo Verde Pirates. Starting in the first quarter, Pirates trying to put the trap on Shanae Mushore, but instead she finds Crystal Asen who hits this shot from behind the arc. Lady Mats open with a 3-0 lead. Now, 6-0 Lady Mats, Pirates with it here, but how about Lime Okada coming up with the steal and then the pass to Asen, who drives to the bucket for the easy layup. Defense turning into offense there, now 8-0 A-Dub. 10-0 Lady Mats here off of Palo Verde miss. It's Asen coming up with the rebound, and the Tacoma Washington native takes this herself, hits the D with the hezzy move, using that to drive to the paint for the bucket. 12-0 Lady Mats well in control here. Late in the first quarter, here's Greta Corallo on the inbounds. Ball comes right back to her in the corner. That's good for a three. Lady Mats with a 24-0 lead now. The first quarter would finish 26-0. Lady Matadors looking like they haven't lost a step from last season. They win with a whopping 95-26 victory. To Viking Gymnasium in Holtville with the CIF Championship in reach. Cheerleaders leading the charge with the five-seed Mira Mesa Marauders in town. Holtville looking to use the home crowd to their advantage. We begin in the opening set. Holtville up 24-12. Marauders on the serve. Vikings set up 5-7 senior Skylar Hansen. She's partially blocked at the net. Mira Mesa on the return from the back, and it's too hot to handle. 24-13. Marauders back on the serve here. Game point for Holtville. It finds the net. Holtville takes the first set, 25-13. We go to the second set. Vikings down early, 16-12. Mira Mesa on the serve. Vikings can't handle it. That leads to a timeout by head coach Chelsea Strong. And you know what? That was just what the Vikings needed. Skylar Hansen on the serve. Mira Mesa working the return. And instead, here we go. Cameron Walker to Sophie Irungare. Over to Jasmine Garawal. And Jazz with a soft touch here. Point for the Vikings. Moments later, Garawal on the serve. We're tied at 17. Marauders working the return, and this is going to be absorbed by Arungare, tipped over by Walker, and the return blast dug out by Kali Strom. Garawal hits it where they ain't. Get a look at this. Vikings are going to take the lead 18-17 after that spike. Then here's Garawal. She's going to be serving this one again. She's going to put a little English on this one. Marauders, they can't return it. Vikings pulling away now. Here's the game point serve from Brooks Strom. Mira Mesa, they're on the return. Let's see what they do. Holtville, they're going to set up the attack with Brooke to Sophie to Kate Grizzle, who adds a little sizzle. Vikings come back to win the second set. They win this one in four sets total and advance to the Division III title game on Friday night. And in other sports news, Suns hosting the Timberwolves tonight as Phoenix continues their hot start to the year. A 116-107 win gets them to 6-1 on the season now. And on the ice, Coyotes also home tonight against the Panthers. Coyotes with their third win on the year, beating the Panthers, excuse me, 3-1.